Yeah. So now you have unmuted me. Yes, uh, you are able to hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Fine. All right. Okay, sir. All right. Sir, first of all, I just introduce you, sir, and then you can start up, sir. Definitely. Sure. Okay. okay. Excuse me, man. Veda, man, make sir as co-host, man. Yeah. Sir, you can unmute yourself, sir, whenever you want, and you can share the screen, sir, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shweta, ma'am, you can start the session, ma'am. Yes. We need technology in every classroom and in every student and teacher's hand because it is pen and paper of our time, and it is the lens through which we experience much of our world. Dear esteemed resource person, participants, faculty members, a very good morning to one and all. I, I Shweta Srivastava, Head Department of Mathematics and Statistics, RBVR Women's College, Hyderabad, and the coordinator of this National Level 1B Faculty Development Program. Let, let me have the honor of Introducing the resource person of today's program, Dr. P. S. Srinivasan, sir, Associate Professor, Bharti Darshan, University Tamil Nadu, who will be enlightening the participants on LaTeX software. Dr. P. S. Srinivasan, sir, has done his PhD in Max. His research area is fixed point theory and discrete dynamical systems. He has more than a decade of experience in teaching and research. He has vast experience in research. He has guided over 30 MPhil and 50 PEG projects. Sir is also a coordinator for PEG Center, Pelambaru. Sir has quite a few research publications in varied international and national genres of repute. Sir has presented papers widely. He is well versed with quite a few computer applications and packages of mathematics and statistics. He is a member of many academic boards and bodies. He is invited by quite a few universities, institutions and organizations as a resource person. We are fortunate that Sir has readily accepted our invite to be a resource person for this faculty development program and share his expertise and experience in working with LaTeX software. I now leave the session to Dr. P. S. Srinivasan, sir, to take over and share his expertise and experience with all of us. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for your nice introduction. Um, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, yeah. So, I, at the outset, I should thank uh, uh, the college authorities uh, and also taking interest in uh, 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 making a webinar on LATEC. Actually, LATEC is supposed to be self-learned. Uh, but uh, with some uh, instructional tips, you can make life easier. Otherwise, it will be a very tough task of learning. It, uh, it will be like a hell. If you start... Taking it... Uh, it should not be read like a textbook, it should be read like a programming language. So if you have some few tips of how to do it, then you can make it on your own. Your life will be very cool and smooth. And uh, in fact, uh, even school, I ask school teachers to learn. In fact, they can type their own notes. When you see the uh, when you see your name with the article, maybe a class notes on, uh, say, real analysis or class notes on, even for school students, how to uh, class notes on geometry with your name, you, you have a lot of motivation. Right. Now I go for a, a let, let me screen share my thing. In fact, uh, uh, before that, I, I'll just uh, yeah. 
this I have to and screen share now. I'm going to screen share. <coughs> yeah. I hope now all of you can uh, see an introduction to LaTeX documentation and presentation style. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Fine. So let me first start by saying, uh, in fact, these are all going to be the tips. So what are all the sources, installation and troubleshooting? And I'll, I'll uh, demonstrate by typing a simple document and I will also help you to see how to compile and see it. Correct errors, if any. Convert to PostScript files such as PS and PDF. This is very basic thing. Okay. Uh, for uh, Windows users, there is a wonderful free backend. Remember, LaTeX is free. So don't pay anywhere. Don't go for Science Hub or something like that. Uh, uh, there, are, there may be a paid uh, thing and all. Don't go for that. Uh, LaTeX is absolutely free, both for Windows as well as for Linux users. Of course, Linux users, it's completely free. All of them are free. So that's why we want to call people to Linux. But anyway, if you are an ardent uh, uh, Windows user, I ask you to take time and come back to Linux and see. Maybe we will do a webinar on how to uh, work on Linux and all uh, separately. Uh, but let's start... Uh, mm, uh, in fact, for Windows users, you can go for uh, this uh, MikeTech, the MikeTech.org and uh, download. Uh, in fact, uh, if you have a good uh, bandwidth, I, uh, I, uh, I'll I ask you to download the entire uh, big file. But if you don't have that, there will be a small package file so you can install. Then and there, it will install all the fonts. And, uh, so you should keep the internet connection on if you install smaller package. But it will be of less length. It will finish quickly. But if it is a school kind of college kind of organization, better to download full package file and you can install in all other computers so that you and uh, internet connection is not required at all while compiling and all. Uh, so one such free editor is Technic Center. So for Windows user, try to use uh, MyTech and Technic Center. B but today I am going to do via uh, Linux. So there is something called WinEdit paid version uh, editor. You can try that, but it's a paid version. So I, I prefer this technique center. Technique center is the one which has to be used. And then you have to convert it into a printable form. So uh, that is called a PS ghost script, PS file or PDF file. You can do it. Okay, then follow the instruction. These things will be available easily for you in my tech page. You can download and you can complete the setup very easily. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I can't uh, uh, hands-on demonstrate this because it will take a lot of time. So it will eat a lot of time. Better download, keep it. And then uh, maybe I can uh, prepare a separate uh, document where it is available, website, uh, how to do and all. I have to make another document. Uh, uh, document I will send to you for students. Am, am I going fast? Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. It's clear, sir. Clear? So can I yes. go in the same pace? Same pace? Yes, yes, sir. Ah, fine. So it is an editor such as Technique Center, PS Programs, GoScript, PDF and all. You, can, you have to install. Adobe, if Adobe is available, then that's enough. Uh, so follow the instructions, right? So a small introduction, uh, this uh, Donald Erwin Quit, uh, Nuth. So D. Nuth, he is called as art of, father of computer science. So he invented the program called LaTeX. See, as you know, uh, LaTeX is different from Word by the following way. Okay, Word is whatever you type, you are going to see the same pattern, same thing. But LaTeX is not so. Yeah, you are going to compile, you are, uh, in fact, in short, if you want to understand, you are going to have your own printing press. See, let's let's take the national dailies. For example, Hindu Express, you could see they, they too have different font families. 
uh, their uh, style of uh, arranging things are different uh, in fact their article styles will be different the arrangements will be different it's like that latex and inside latex you can have several different families say like times of india hindu uh, indian express and all something like that that's what we do and uh, uh, in uh, Uh, in mathematics suppose if you start research and doing and if you fire, if you have to communicate to your journal they will give you some sort of uh, style files uh, and it's again something like their own uh, style of how the article should appear so all these things will be coded and it will be compiled so the compilation it's a program so it will it will compile and it will show you errors then you have to go back and correct the errors and finally compile everything there will be warning messages if you are so uh, keen and uh, uh, if you if you uh, show interest in all the minuscules of this then you will learn lot of art of this computer program for how to font uh, appear so where it appears and all. for mathematics uh, still uh, this is the easiest one available if you go for any word kind of processing it's going to be very very tough in fact uh, uh, the latest microsoft thing tries to uh, inculcate from latex so they they are trying to get the resource from latex so for mathematics typing absolutely you need latex and uh, in fact later what will happen is uh, in fact uh, nowadays what we do is we type even all the letters in latex only if somebody gives us word file we will compile and give it as a word file from my side even uh, in my university syllabus is typed in latex mm, all the uh, student uh, notes are typed in latex so uh, even i type letters also to my my letter head is in latex so you you understand the uh, how important it is okay in fact uh, as a research scholar if you start learning or as a msc student as a project uh, if you are learning you may have to spend at least to two weeks to learn this thoroughly so the purpose of this webinar will make you very easy uh, and uh, it will help you to uh, capture the nuances properly okay yeah now yeah these things i am going to cut uh, again i am coming it, it's a, some sort of uh, what to say mm, uh, final cap of what you have to do install my if you are windows user install my tech install editors install ps program okay now i have a small program so this is how things are done now what i will do is i will exit this screen share and i will i will try to <coughs> show you the code of uh, in fact what in fact if you have already all this in your hand you can try this anyway i am going to give this file to you you can type and see what happens to this okay document class in fact all of you can note down what is there here later uh, we will copy this and put it in latex and see what happens i am going to live demonstrate this is the very simplest file i am having okay in fact what i will try to say is take a good file copy all those things and then you make the article do not worry about how it comes something like how what uh, uh, homeopathy doctor says do not uh, 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 do deep research in how the medicine works if it works if it gets cured it's fantastic so it's something like that first initially do that then later we will analyze what are so from document class starting from document class to begin document whatever we have is called the preamble okay do not worry about preamble take a fantastic article copy all this preamble within you but this is the simplest preamble i have then say begin document this is the title my document then author myself it gives uh, today's date then say make title type save and compile end document now what i am going to do is i am working in linux i am going to copy this file and put it for you and then save and compile and show you right so uh, let me come out of uh, uh, screen i think and then i'll do for you yeah let's let's do this how do i have this i have to come out of screen sharing fine let's let's close this now i'll i'll do screen sharing of uh, 
the original tech file uh, it should be somewhere here i will show you. in fact i'm going to copy the entire thing and show it to you display no i have not screen shared but anyway i'll do that just one minute i'll see somewhere it will be there yeah just one minute i'm just searching where it is coming a yeah, simplest program but uh, Now what I'm going to uh, do is I'll take my editor. Uh, in fact, I'll go. I'll screen share my editor. Somewhere the editor should appear. Yeah, just one minute. So I'll screen share this. I hope all of you could see this. I'll make a new document, file new. I'll uh, I'll enlarge the fonts. Maybe the fonts will be of small size. So whatever written, I have. I'll enlarge and show this to you. This is the editor. So I have put in an editor. This side, what I'll do is I'll enlarge and show. Is this visible to you, all of you? Yes, sir. It's visible. Ah, it's visible. Can you read? Document class, 11 point, A4 paper, AMS article. Can you read? Yes, sir. Document class. Uh, yeah. Those who are yeah, having can, read, can even uh, use their hands and zoom and see. But left-hand side, yes. uh, you, you would see something different, but I have to compile. First, what I will do is I will save. Each editor will do this. So, save it something like uh, test. Test.tech. I will save it as test.tech and put it inside uh, somewhere wherever I like. I will just put it in my uh, documents folder. Okay. Save. So, this gets saved. Now, what I am going to do is I will compile this. So, here is the compilation. In, the, in my olden days, what I will do is we will type, we will go to the command prompt window, we will say LaTeX, we will give you a huge command and type. The, ed, the editor does this job for you. Okay. So now uh, I'll, I'll try to zoom my right hand side of the thing. Wait one minute. I'll try to zoom this part. Can all of you see this? My document. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, we can see. Whether you are able to see? Yes, sir. Uh, type, save, and compile. Yeah. So, so now uh, in the title, I can change. You can see. So, I, I am just uh, trying to say a LATAC, uh, LATAC webinar. Webinar. Okay. And I will now say author name as myself. That's the beauty. That's what I am saying initially. If you see your name, if you type your name and see, then your motivation will be high. It's a psychological thing. Okay. Very basic. Very basic. Basic. First, very basic class. Yeah. So I have to type carefully in class. Then what I do, try to do is yeah, compile this. Okay. When it gets compiled, Immediately, it will come in the right. Now you can see LATAC webinar. So I'm zooming, right? You can see PS Srinivasan, my name got changed. Very basic class. Mm. But I'm surprised that date is not printing. Date today is not working. I don't know why it should work. Suppose in the place, instead of date, if I say 26th, 26th March, oh, sorry, May, it should work. Mm 
there is some problem in a date command. I don't know. I'll find out and tell you. In fact, I, you can look at my article, whatever I have typed. Um, in fact, in Bhima also, you would have given the same title. See, all these, these things are called the preamble. Okay. So, ah, you see, the style file, the date is coming in the bottom. This style file is AMS article style file. Again, I'll go through my article. I'll go slow because you may... See, I'll, I'll show you the test article, which is... See, here I have typed document class 11 point. See, now you will understand what is there in the preamble. 11 point is uh, that uh, point size. Suppose if I keep 12 point and our paper is M4 paper. So this is AMS article. Instead of saying M and AMS article, if I simply say article and then... Uh, this is regarding math thing, AMS fonts, AMS math, AMS theorem, DS font. You have to copy all these things. Your life will be very smooth, simple. You can type a, a number of mathematics things. Now we are going to do. In fact, I'll do something for you. Whatever basic things I can do, I'll do it for you. Now compile this. Yeah. So now you can see my date is coming. Uh, uh, whether all of you can see on the right hand side, the date is now 26th May. Right? And if I say slash today, whatever is there. Yes, sir. If, you, if I am changing slash today. Okay. And then compile. Now it will put automatically even the year also. May 26, 2020. Okay, very good. And uh, see, in the basic stuff itself, very basic class, we will start learning how to type simple articles. Right? See, while compile, I will show you the things. So now what I will do is, uh, you can see actually something else uh, see if you go and see the uh, documents folder inside documents folder you can see four of the things are created i'll share now just one minute my screen sharing thing i have to close is that here it is Oh, no, no, I have closed something else. So again, it's coming. Stop share. So I will show you some other share for you now. Mm, screen sharing. I will go inside documents and show this to you. Share. So in my thing, here I have saved. Uh, now all of you can, I am enlarging my folder size. I hope all of you can see. Four files are there. This is Zoom, forget it. There is a, a test.ox, test.log, test.pdf, some other gz file, and test.tech. This test.tech file is the one which we have typed. So automatically, LaTeX has created something called a log file. Okay. And uh, automatically, it has created some other thing called ox file. All these are auxiliary log. Then we have made a DVI PDF. So it automatically it converted. Uh, we have made tech directly compile it as PDF. So it has come as a PDF. One can also do DVA and PDF. That is also why. Uh, so whatever manner you choose, these are all the things which are going to be created automatically. So is that point understood? So now I'll stop share and then go and share the regular. Uh, this is the, uh, I have to. Yes. So share. So now we are back to our LaTeX typing thing. I hope all of you can see both the sides, right? Shall we make some simple articles? <clears throat> yes, sir. So now what I will try to do is, I will try to make a, uh, in fact, I will copy something and put it for you. So that uh, will not, uh, okay. I will just type a simple thing. You you understand, okay. Now what I will try to do is, here I will say, <coughs> so now we will make things uh, very basic. Now I will say section. 
करके दिस इज कॉल्ड ए सेक्शन और और लेट्स लेट्स कॉल इट एज अ चैप्टर आई डोंट नो इन आर्टिकल वेदर चैप्टर इज अलाउड बट लेट्स सी आई होप इट्स अलाउड देन आई विल से अ सेक्शन फर्स्ट एग्जांपल then paste this okay so i'm just typing something uh, so in fact uh, establish the identity look how, how i have typed i'll i'll show this to you later okay i'll just uh, in fact i should have typed i have copied actually uh, what is this one can actually decode this whenever mathematics come you have to start with a dollar okay and now what i have done is our standard uh, thing alpha plus beta the whole square minus alpha minus beta the whole square equal to 4 alpha beta for all real numbers alpha comma beta so you look at the code carefully now i will compile this for you yeah and all of you can see on the right hand side how things are coming right i hope all of you can see right so maybe i'll start with another thing see yes. establish spelling mistake right e s t e a b l i s h so uh, all of us all of us know that right. uh, let's type a plus b the whole square a plus b the whole square equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab now compile this right see there is no indenting nothing like that suppose if we want to in section this automatically indents suppose if we want to make these two things so enumerated then we have to say begin enumerate enumerate so it's a, it's not a basic thing i am actually uh, uh, showing something it's a slash say slash i come then say slash item these things you will learn later okay i will also show how things have to be done right then say end enumerate right now you can see even the things are listed properly right it's compiled first example establish now you can see all indentation all these things are coming proper suppose if you want to type a paragraph okay uh, all of us so we will make an again okay all of us want to type our notes 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 in see suppose if we want to say some keyword actually you should put that dollar in latex i think uh, it should be capital t see suppose if i go wrong if i compile i will have a mistake see now it says undefined control sequence so maybe x also capital yeah uh, these things actually get uh, now see all of us want to type our notes in latex it's coming in um it's a full stop see this is a keyword so you have to keep full stop a little bit later uh, the running text the running text goes like this like this if we want to put symbols put dollar alpha put symbol say i'll just change say alpha we with them hello is there any problem is it possible to you yes. i'll compile yes sir it is visible ah so can you see see what i am zooming now right yes side. sir yes All sir for notes in the running text goes like this see alpha how alpha comes you have to see the running text goes like this 
uh, if you want to put symbol, say alpha. See, now uh, it comes here. Okay. So, uh, as a recap, again, I'm saying before but whatever is appearing, whatever I have shaded now is called as a preamble. See, whatever is coming after begin document till end document, it is called the main program. So, this preamble better you copy, you take a copy. Sir, your audio is not coming, sir. Yeah, now it's unmuted. Yeah, I'll start share. So I think somebody is scribbling in the board, sir, right? Sir, one more thing, sir. Beside your screen sharing, you have option to disable annotation, sir. Disable? Annotation. Besides screen sharing, you have three dots there. Uh, one participant can share at a time, but advanced sharing options, I'll just check. No, sir. Disable annotation. I don't have that. Okay, fine, sir. I don't have disable annotation. Maybe it should be in the start of the thing, right? Once you start sharing the screen, you can see three dots at the end of the toolbar the end of the toolbar i don't have that okay, okay fine sharing option i kindly uh, request participants not to disturb the session don't write anything who can share only host it's given how many participants can share at the same time uh, one participant can share at a time all these things are made actually okay but, sir thank you yeah. so let's go to the desktop share yeah. So whether all of you can see now. What's happening? Yeah. This is the compiling window. Hmm. One minute, just I'll close this. Stop share. Yeah. So I'll start screen sharing. It went somewhere. Yeah. Share. So I hope all of you can see. I have to enlarge the font size. I'll enlarge it. Yeah. So now I'm compiling. You can see my first section is very basic class. Correct. Second section is this first example. Right. Now what I'll try to do is I'll I'll a uh, little bit I'll ask. Okay. I'll type something. I'll type. I already have typed something. I'll put it for you. So let's go to test.tech and then put it here. So show that two subsets. Maybe should I enlarge further? Yeah. Show that two subsets A and B are equal if and only if A is a subset of B. It, it should come like this. See, see, now uh, how I am typing uh, that uh, simple subset and all, where you learn there are a lot of toolbars. This is where you have to spend time in finding the editor. See, the editor, uh, if you have my tech or uh, if you have technique center, again, there will be a thing called symbols. For example, OK, 
okay so i can i can simply type this so it will say begin flush right flush left so go to the symbol bar so you can see lot of symbols in the symbol bar okay so this says where should i go <coughs> so if you go to this tools you can see lot of see now if you see all this you will get confused so i don't want to do that right now see i have done something okay let's 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 stick to basics okay you can type see one of you will be worried sir how to find the symbol subset equal to subset equal to you are typing these things can be found in symbol bars okay whatever side the editor will help you finding the symbols you need not have lot of manual at all you can directly do now i am compiling you will be able to see the question maybe i will put this as item so that this will be listed as a third item what we are seeing today <coughs> can all of you see i'll zoom and show this also will be yes, sir. bigger so show that the sets a and b are equal if and only if a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a there is a printing mistake so we will change it to and okay all right let's go let's uh, make our thing little this is how one has to type okay <coughs> Here I have typed. Uh, in fact, uh, this is a demonstration how to type a equation. Let's start doing that. Okay, already I have typed it for you because I thought this will go slow. I have typed it for you, so I am pasting. I'll put slash item. Whatever items we are learning today, I'm going to share this uh, tick file to all of you. So do no need to copy all these things, right? So you will just say solve the wave equation. and i'm giving label wave equation so within begin equation end equation i'm going to say be begin split end split you understand the fashion how it is appearing maybe i'll compile and show this to you first then you will understand solve the wave equation <coughs> the first equation is do square u by do x square minus do square u by do y square equal to 0 second thing is u of x comma 0 equal to f of x and this is named as equation number 1 of course we, a chapter if we make chapter section and all 2.1 these labelings can also be changed these things can be programmed in the preamble okay now th there are two e two equation two equations are aligned together how it is appearing two equations so i have to say begin equation in fact if i go and see here itself actually it will show once i have compiled that's the advantage of the editor why if you are having a very big article and if you want to uh, uh see then and there not compiling everything we can see there also left side it's compiling and but anyway begin equation label it say begin split end split inside begin split end split you are having this uh, uh do square u how to type do square u what is this and for and is and is the place where it gets aligned <coughs> suppose i'll just uh, tweak and show it to you suppose if i change this and and put it near zero before zero and then second equation also i'll change this and and put it here before equal to you can see maybe what we will try to do is uh, we'll not do like this we'll have both of them so that we can compare and see i'll just copy the entire item <coughs> and put it down yeah so now here i'll do the change so here there is one and which is missed ah right here now what i'll do is i'm placing in before equal to sign so here also do that put it before equal to sign okay and then what you do is compile it yeah now you can see the aligning here the aligning is now you, you you note here the aligning is to the left because here and is here and is placed to the left yeah so here i have made in the second one we have made and before equal to sign therefore the aligning is before the equal to sign the, the first one is the standard one we make we don't make this 
we make it for different purpose that i will explain later so this is to explain you the and is the alignment tab character okay and this double hash is to end the line Ma inside math mode if i want to end the line i use double hash is that clear and then i use this u of x comma 0 equal to f of x okay and why do we label that we have to see now what i'll do is i'll remove this part we don't require <coughs> There are various ways of map coding. I will tell you, I will give you the manual file for this. It is available actually everywhere. The web, it's available. You can download and then uh, use it. I will I'll say during uh, the end of my session, maybe uh, when I end this session, I will share all the files to you. That's not a thing. problem at all. Okay. So why do we label this equation number if we want to use somewhere? Okay. Uh, then we can suppose if i want to label using section then i have to give the appropriate command uh, okay now uh, now what do i want to refer so all of us all of us no all of us know that wave equation ref say reference put square brackets then automatically we will have something wave equation see i'll type this see now you can see all of us know the wave equation number one so it will it will give the equation number okay is this uh, thing clear just uh, type the first equation and uh, also you can understand the notation what is frac for frac for numerator and denominator partial partial means do partial partial u squared by partial x squared that means do square u by do x square then minus sign slash frac partial u partial square other uh, do square u by do y square equal to zero you have to uh, learn the code okay then it's very easy actually uh, latter codes are very very natural way of coding things you can understand caret is for upper thing partial is for do Okay, all these things you can understand. Okay, this is how equations are. Equation. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Now let's go for uh, some other thing which I have. Um, uh, how to type a tabular column. So that's what is going to be my next item. So. If I if I want to type the next item, <clears throat> so I'll copy this and put it here in our test, and I'll say slash item. So. The results of the students in the test find their mean and standard deviation. So I'm going to type a table. The table is going to be centered. That's what this says. So then whatever table I want to type, it's going to be inside begin tabular, end tabular. Each column. OK, let's compile and first show you. Then we'll analyze the code. Yeah. Now you can see how my table the results of the students in two tests are given below find their mean and standard deviation okay uh, now you can see the table where all of you can see it yes sir uh, yeah so now uh, I, we have three columns right so uh, you can see test one test two um that's the first column test one test two we are having serial number we are writing so each tab that's why i said and is a tab character each tab is written as and see this h line is horizontal line first horizontal line i want okay then this horizontal line first top horizontal line then first column number and second column test one third column test two then end of the line this is the end of the line then we want another horizontal line. We can see number dot 
test one test two then end of the line then horizontal line then each row separated by and uh, yeah each column separated by and and each row separated by double hash that's the way of coding 19047 you can see here and compare this with the output 19047 then second row you can see here and compare this with the output 26879 third row 34256 and compare with the output okay then say end table then end center the table is centered now and uh, we have put a caption for the table also marks of the students okay so that will appear and the end table and in the begin table this hdb says here place the table here suppose if i miss this and say tb and compile we can say the table will go to the top or next page bottom wherever it wants to fit okay if because i am putting so it will try to adjust place it there if not place it in the top that is my priority if not place it in the bottom the table is a separated right now it has got fixed it here okay i hope all of you understood this okay <coughs> this is one uh, see suppose uh, if we are meeting live then i can actually ask a lot of you but in the online course so i i should go ahead uh, so that i i could cover some some at least some material so that you can see get some hints and uh, do okay yeah uh, let's uh, let's now uh, let's now do this okay see how to code the binomial okay let's do i have typed some item yeah next item what we are going to do is prove that summation r equal to 0 to n ncr for that there is a code called binomial equal to 2 power n, right so let's compile and see now look how it appears with am i muted is it clear to you am i audible yes sir ah yeah so prove that summation r equal to 0 to n ncr equal to 2 power n whether all of you can see what is there on the right whatever i am zooming and showing it to you right maybe i'll take it upward so this is how one one types and you get type a paragraph also right using this now let's let's type some matrix okay let's copy this here right so i'll put it here test let's do next item find the product of a equal to begin t matrix so this is how matrix is coded first let's compile and see this will go to the next page okay so there is some mistake mistake means uh, something is coming will correct actually that's a good thing if we do purposely some mistake it's very clear find the product of the right hand side whether it's visible to all of you yes sir so a as a matrix b how to code this a equal to begin p matrix 1 and 2 there is some mistakingly some slash has come remove that okay and again compile if you compile you will see now things are proper there is no und symbol there one uh, same rule like tabular see that's why i have done tabular okay like tabular uh, each column separated by and and each row separated by hash you have to give row wise one for first row is 1 2 3 and the columns are separated by and that's it such as in what is p matrix p matrix means parenthesis matrix suppose if i say if i want to have a bracket we will change for b just we'll put b matrix and then compile begin b matrix now you can see square brackets appearing in this 
Is that okay? Here parenthesis, here it's square. <clears throat> okay. Ah, now let's go. Let's go and do something. Yeah. This is very, very interesting. In fact, I have made all very simple things at the same time. Very illustrative things which you should know. Okay. Pick up. So you can look at how things are coded before we compile. Whether it is visible to all of you? Yeah? Yes, sir. So should I increase font size further? Is it OK? I think it is clear to everyone, sir. It's clear, right. Yes. So that, uh, so 2 power, 2 power k. So because Suppose if you miss this bracket, then uh, there will be a problem. It won't understand. So, uh, first parenthesis, 2 power 2 power k is not equal to 2 power 2k. Okay. So, let's compile and see. Yeah. So, I hope all of you understand this. Yeah, it's a very some very simple, but at the same time highly instructive. Let's go for now something else, whatever we have. Uh, let's uh, type something mathematical. Yeah, so this is also some technical part which I want to do. Mm. Control C. So let's do slash item. We we'll copy this. So what is that I am typing here? Define function f from r to r by f of x equal to as the function is defined for various interval, interval values. 0 if x is less than 0, 1 if x is less than 1. For that, how one should type using begin cases and end cases. OK? That's how we got to type. Yeah. So is the notation clear? Let's compile and see. This is how it looks. Maybe I'll take it to the top and show, show this to you. So let's let's move this bit right. Ah. So f from r to r. Look at this coding. Math ds. That means it's a special font actually. What is called as double stroke. How usually called as blackboard r or double r. Set of all real numbers. So f from r to r by f of x equal to within cases 0, 1. If x is between less than 0, you have to do like this. 1 if x is greater than 0. So this is how technically things are coded. Okay, now let's uh, go for something. Suppose if I want to yeah, type, uh, suppose if I want to simply quote something, okay, copy, let's do this. I have done something, uh, I'll check what it is. Okay, our next item is going to be quote. Begin quote, end quote. So you can see. Ringa. So if I say something quote, it will it will type separately and show it to you. Suppose if you want to see all the codes, okay, for all roses. Now you can see mathematically it has typed. Packet full of roses for all roses, it has said some mathematics notation has come. You don't you want to see the code, then what you should should do is instead of code, you should type verbatim. Begin verbatim, 
n were better and compile it now you can see the entire code you can see the fonts all fonts have also changed like typewriting fonts that means it says it's a code not the original document you can see how fonts are here also you should know you should not some uh, very careful reader will see in this define this f first f is different from mathematical f that that's why whatever you put it inside dollar that's a max size so even if you want to type a uh, sets a b you have to show in math fonts these are all math fonts english fonts are something different okay here it is completely type typewriting font see automatically latex will do for them but uh, in some places if you want to force it to make then uh, that also can be done but that is not uh, as a first course we, give, we we can one can learn it uh, as a uh, okay what to say easy thing you can see the manual and learn uh, i'll i'll code i'll give you some good manuals where all these things are done how to type uh, letters see if i see here what we have done is we have typed like article style okay if we change this to letter there is a letter style uh, there is a standard uh, uh, template for typing letters all these things can also be done okay now we will not go into that we will we'll learn what uh, a match student should typically learn here okay <clears throat> now uh, i have a uh, for basic linear algebra book is site okay anyway let's uh, do some of the what to say yeah now let's do uh, one can learn this also suppose if i want to type say you can learn two things are there i'll i'll simply say all this okay you can paste compile this here all of you look one to n okay the c dots you can see where the things are centered dots so this l dots it comes in the line line dots so it it will come in the bottom that much care you should see see i have missed a comma put a comma here okay you have to do it little meticulously that means you have to look at all these things very carefully okay and uh, you can see uh, next one is display style Uh, limit end tending to infinity. How I have got slash lim. Then there is an underscore here. There is an underscore here. Limit end tending to infinity. Frac one by n. Numerator is one. Denominator is n. Okay. And uh, you can see the output. Suppose if I miss this display style, then what will happen? Let's see. Now it will type within what our running text format. Suppose we, because we have put only one single dollar. Now you can see. Okay, this frac also automatically it will uh, it is uh, reduced. But uh, if I say control is that, and if I if I put display style, you can even see the fraction is now a little bigger. Okay, all these things can be controlled. Okay, uh, I hope these two things are understood now carefully uh, in LaTeX code. Now. uh let's uh, let's do some technical stuff okay suppose uh no i'll make a, a section called special numbering now let's look at begin theorem begin yeah if i want to type a theorem then what should i do now let's 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 finish all this begin enumerate end enumerate so almost a basic uh, version of our classes we'll go to the second section of our class is that okay yeah <clears throat> is there all of you can see what i'm typing here section special subsection numbering begin theorem n theorem every differentiable function is continuous yes sir ah fine so now i am going to compile this 
and i have got a error so what the environment not defined so whenever i want to do because i have made a very simple thing here there is no environment at all okay so now i want to i i'll just go copy it from some of my uh, uh, files so what i do here is um, somewhere i have typed something so i'll copy the entire thing that's why i said this new theorem okay maybe we'll copy only this two so that you understand okay go i am going to my article and before begin document i will paste these two these two are called environments new theorem theorem okay i don't want to i will make it as section so how numbering should be done and what is that now we will compile this uh, that now there is no error and you can see my next section called the numbering i have not typed a capital letters so it's coming in small right section also yes is small so we'll make special special class special section on number we don't number theorems in latex uh, that is because we are compiling and there is a great advantage do not ever give number in latex the advantage is as follows suppose if i want to type this as a third uh, chapter okay later on i decide to keep it as second chapter then in the word i have to change all all 33 like that i have to change here we don't do this we ask latex to keep the number i can even arrange and shift it to eighth chapter automatically it will change as eighth chapter okay you can see all this i'll do it in section itself so now section subsection numbering begin theorem you can see now how the how the theorem is typed theorem numbering is 3.1 is that clear suppose if we if we just copy the same theorem and put it here uh, suppose if i put it in my uh, section first section very basic class where we have not written anything but i copy and i'll put and compile here now here you can see the theorem number is 1.1 of course content uh, anything you can change anything it could be same also theorem 1.1 is the thing clear yeah uh, and i can change now show that yeah something your very uh, differentiable function is continuous show that the converse is not true and compile it yeah this is about the numbering and i will come here see this what it says is theorem this is how i am going to give this see usually what people do is they won't keep full name see i will keep theorem thm then here i won't say begin theorem i will simply say theorem okay compile and see you will have the same result here we have coded theorem therefore it's giving a error so whenever i want to have a theorem i will simply say thm but here you can see theorem 1.1 now the, it's compiled without any errors again in the numbering section you can see theorem 3.1 here all here if you go and change see this is where how you want to see a theorem suppose if i want to say i don't want to say it as a theorem i'll say this as a result then you type here result then things will change is changes result okay uh, result 3.1 is that clear we will go back and change it to old theorem style here and then i'll compile so we we'll, here i have to make capital letters capital letters if you want to put dots you can put dot here itself here of dot then there will be a dot there people don't make like that uh, some of the books are also have that fashion so you can't uh, have some uniform policy for all entire world and all so in each book they will have their own style so that is adopted here yes so that's that's how i have to arrange is that understood 
right now let's let's understand in kanalari why i am putting so now i have to put thm here right so now if i type kanalari which i have already typed for you so i'll take kanalari from here uh, i'll type kanalari so the in kanalari n kanalari Corollary, n corollary. So now you can see the number three point one. Then after that, three point two is coming. Is that clear? Uh, then corollary three point two is coming. Is that clear? Sorry, sir. I'm just interrupting you in the middle as uh, there is some background sound coming, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll ask them. One minute, just one minute. Yes. thank you sir yeah. now is it clear yes sir it's clear ha uh, it's clear so corollary the corollary number is now 3.2 why is it so because we have we have in the new theorem corollary should interwind the theorem that means now theorem 3.1 See, suppose if we want continuous numbering, then we will keep something like this: definition, three point one, uh, theorem three point two, corollary three point uh, three. All these things should have continuous numbering. Then you do. Suppose some people no theorem should have separate numbering, uh, definition should have separate numbering, remark should have separate numbering. All these things can be done. Then you don't quote it like this. Is the is the point clear to you? Yeah. Yeah, is the numbering understood? Yeah, I couldn't hear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Good. 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 So theorem three point one, corollary three point two. Suppose if you type again some other corollary, say begin corollary and corollary, same thing. Okay, very polynomial function is continuous. Okay. Uh, Okay, then. Uh, okay. Begin corollary. Okay, as a corollary, say uh, the determinant map is continuous. Better map. Excuse me, sir, as there is lot of disturbance. Yeah, sir. There is lot of disturbance at the back, sir. Now? Yeah, now it's clear. Now it's clear. Uh, see, the thing is, uh, uh, things are coming a bit late. That's why uh, I want to. Uh, yeah. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. There is some work going on, and there is also one somebody shouting uh, outside. Uh, that's why. Yes, you... sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. As this is a lock time, time, sir. 
it's with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. exactly yeah okay. i can understand sir yeah yeah fine so uh, could you hear actually right so now uh, what we will do is we did uh, i have to compile this is it visible now determinant because okay. so now corollary 3.3 now it has come like this. is that clear corollary 3.3 now determinant map is continuous now you can see okay as a corollary to polynomial function is continuous okay so the numbering is done like this separate numbering could also be done so that you understand through okay now let's start uh, doing something else okay mm yeah subsection okay this ah now i'll 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 teach you how to how to make figure Hello. Yes, sir. So now let let's see how uh, we should have some sort of figure. So now we'll go for how to include some figure. Okay, that's the one which is uh, which has to be done. I have done till theorem, theorem page numbering, theorem numbering. Now let's learn how to include a figure. okay so that is also something like table that's not very tough i'll copy from here and paste it for you which i have already done okay so <clears throat> but uh, the thing is here actually it's very easy suppose let's say you have some eps uh, in fact uh, some file okay for example if you have eps file i'll just copy only that eps file and how to make eps file from pdf file also can be learned actually that's not a tough thing so suppose if you have some eps file mm, eps file i'll check properly where i have it maybe i have it inside i don't have it inside examples suppose if i have somewhere some file okay let's some eps logo i should have previously it was there here let's try to see i have some i have only jpg files okay some some picture it doesn't matter so let's try see already i have made mandelbrot no let's try to make mandelbrot itself suppose i have this mandelbrot file so now i have to share something to you see suppose if we place it in some folder i have i have downloaded some file and put it in documents folder put it here okay if i want to include the picture uh, now i'll show it to you actually that can be done very simply uh, all the editors will actually help you to do that okay most of the editors will help you to do it uh, see somewhere i'll have it here i have to search how to somewhere in tools it will be there so how to uh, input include files Ah, see here there is something called inclu include graphics file. So you just type, you can browse and include the. See here I have this JPG, so I just give the JPG file. Then it says uh, includes Mandelbrot graphic. Let's try to compile this. It is not including. It says undefined thing. So why is it so? Because in the input we have to say I am going to have some graphics kind of file thing. Okay. so i have to say this graphics something graphics is included okay copy this and then put it in uh, here 
So DS font, and I'm going to put graphics file. See, this is how you have to learn. Okay, compile. Now it has compiled normally. Let's see whether Mandelbrot picture is coming. Yeah, it's a now. All of you can see now. It's a very big picture now. So that's why I did. I do. I did roughly. Ah, uh, now we want to put uh, dimensions. We don't want this much big big picture. Okay. So what we will do is, ah, uh, we we have width, the height, and all. So that we can, that we can use. So what is the width, the height, and all we have? I have given something you can put four four by four. So bracket. Okay. You go here and then paste it here. Okay. Then compile. Okay, the length is not decrease. So let's say one inch bar one inch. So then the size will be very less. Yes. So now you can see. Uh, and if you want to make a center, then as such begin center. In center. Then there is something called uh, begin figure. Same thing like table. See that first table example should help you. Begin figure. Same bracket HTB. Begin figure. Yeah. Now you can see picture is coming, and I can add a caption also. Just say caption, caption, picture of mantle bridge. Yeah, you can see this here. Yeah, so nicely it's coming. Yeah, these are all the key things which one has to learn. Right now, I will show you something which is very interesting. I will uh, is the things clear to you? I will send uh, this entire tech file, this folder to all of you. In fact, I'll I'll send this to uh, the host. Host will send to all the participants. You can view. Okay, I'll also include some uh, uh, links. Where you can download a lot of uh, what to say, take uh, manual and all. But uh, as such, I I'll tell you, start typing what you want, then go to manual. Uh, read only the one which you want. Okay, uh, what I'm trying to tell is fix the target. Okay, type some part, uh, then you will learn. See, this uh, tech learning procedure is not like uh, learning first chapter, then second chapter, third chapter, for not like that, not in uh, uh, that order. See the order is your experience only. So you type something, you may get fixed with something. Then you can and you can go to Google and ask. Uh, in fact, nowadays I I don't uh, see even for typesetting minute things I see a manual. Okay, now what I want to, I'm going to do is I'll I'll just come out of this. Uh, I'll stop this sharing. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll download. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Hello. Yes, Hello. sir. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, now what I'll do is, uh, I'll download. Okay, I'll just screen share Google to you. Uh, I'll just show how I'm downloading Google. Yeah. So share. So what you do is. Uh, that uh, whatever manual which I am saying is called. Uh, see, you have seen AMS Math there, so it is called AMS Math. You just say PDF AMS Math LaTeX. So I am just searching for that. So AMS uh, Math, even uh, one can say PDF also. AMS Math, AMS Theorem, all these things will be available. AMS Math PDF. That's the package we are using. See here, he is telling AMS AMS Math package. So you can see, PDF file is coming. 
yeah so the, this you download and download it okay save yeah now i'll open that in fact i'll screen share that just a minute stop share i'll screen share uh, ms math pdf right yeah so all of you could see ms math package that whatever i have downloaded yeah in fact i think i have shared uh, the original web thing itself okay uh, you can see see forget about all these things whatever i said about uh, uh, you can you can go through later see there is one one place where you will see lot of oh this ms math yeah but what is this this is not right. oh this is command kind of thing but there will be something called ms theorem multi line oh i'm sorry not be the package okay i'm sorry there will be some ms theorem package is ms ms theorem oh, no it's only ms ms not only package in latex ms latex download ms mm. cls actually uh, no i we want only ms latex package ms latex ms latex gather i'm sorry is it from the ms manual let's try to download this somewhere it, it should be available ah your user gate it should be the thing yeah exactly this is the thing uh, whether i have share all of you could see what i am sharing is correct or i'll just again stop stop share and share again mm. see there will be a column available anyway i will include all those things see there will be a command called i am not seeing it right now this is different i think this is a different version yeah muscle dog okay okay i got what i have to download one minute just one minute not this still sharing i stop the uh, yeah i'll i'll ask uh, sc screen share properly we will go to google okay uh, my things i have let's close uh, see that uh, it's not called the amsl doc uh, what we have to download is amsl doc i'll just uh, go to the google page somewhere it should appear my screen sharing yeah. yes so share now what i'm doing is that's not called msl doc msl doc uh, pdf itself you can ask msl doc it's called actually msl doc but uh, Where is it? There will be usually PDF somewhere kept. AMSL doc. Okay. 
now it's not available. User guide AMS math. That's what we saw now. Okay. Okay. Ah. So this is what I want to share. Let, uh, is it uh, visible? See, somebody is writing in my window. Yeah. Dear participants, don't okay. do any scribbling. Right. So this is the AMSL doc. So this is called the AMSL. I will send you this. Uh, see, we will download this and keep it. With us. Version 2 is the one I want. Here, this is the simple manual you can have. I will just show to you uh, the place which I wanted. Uh, Excuse me, sir. Uh, uh, look at uh, look I'm at, requesting once again, please don't do any scribbling on the search screen. Yeah. So can all of you see what I'm showing? Yeah. Is the font very small? No, sir, it is visible. It's visible, right? See, single begin equation, A equal to B. Star means it will not put number. Begin equation means that I typed an example for you. I have shown this also. Begin split, end split. Oh, split I have not shown. But actually one can do this. Splitting the equations. Okay. Uh, separated by and, begin split, end split. If I want to do multi-line, I'll do multi-line. Begin gather, end gather. Align means just aligning. Both of them will have equation number. There is a difference between begin equation and begin align. Align means you have two different equations and you are aligning. You want numbers also. This is a single equation and splitting. Okay. This, this things you can. Yeah. This is a nice manual. Version 2 is a very nice manual. This is the one which you have to uh, use. Right. I have stopped the screen sharing. Uh, in fact, what I'll suggest is I'll, I'll, there is a, a lot of uh, good notes. Uh, uh, whatever, whenever you have doubts, you can go and see. You can quote something. Uh, this is the thing. As I said, start uh, with some goal, some mission. Okay. For example, say I want to type uh, this article today. Just one page or even half page article today. Then you use whatever tricks I said, copy very simple, what to say, uh, preamble, and then type, see, then I can do. See, the installation part, if you put actually, if you use Linux and download, install Ubuntu, which is very popular, or Linux Mint, which, which I am using now, whatever window you saw is using Linux Mint, these things are available in the web. If you, all the installation guides are available. If you install, whatever you get is going to be uh, you, you have a lot of, everything is free there. LaTeX uh, editor is free. There is a very powerful, there are two editors. One is called the Kyle, other is called the Tech Studio. These two are very, very powerful. You can download uh, tech using tech. Like, even if you say Kyle, it will download all the necessaries to you and give it to you. Then you can download all the DS fonts separately, compile. If you are using Windows, go to Mic Tech, download the package, okay, and then install and have happy. See, if you have doubts on how to install and all, maybe I have to see, collect, uh, say, if somebody has written a notes. But there is nothing like that. You just uh, exe file. You just say install. Maybe if you want additional fonts, fonts and all, it may. But whatever make tech package, full package is excellent. It will compile very nicely. You can use Technique Center. There. Okay. Yeah. So with this, I will uh, stop my uh, talk. Excuse me, sir. Sir, here we have few questions from participant side, sir. Definitely, definitely. Sir, one of the participant asked uh, how to type second and higher order differential equations. All these things you can do. I I, I, I taught you do square u by do x square. Then higher order you should make. <laughs> That's the exercise to you. For two, you should put five. That's it. A differential equation instead of partial, you put d. All these things are available in AMSL doc manual. Which I will send it to you. Can I move to next question, sir? Yeah. Uh, can we draw geometrical shapes using LaTeX software? 
and how to draw graphs using that there is nothing called draw and all i have included only jpg for you there is something called picture draw graph theory people and all can draw using there is something called especially there are a lot of packages for drawing in fact for drawing you need one and a half hour special webinar <coughs> okay you have to can... start from scratch a uh, simple thing i have done for you just jpg file you can include you can make jpg using different softwares no like there are sage math where you uh, type functions compile make uh, eps file you can include eps file make it eps file include it here uh, there is a uh, the thing called geogebra geogebra itself will give a cute cute code you can use that cute code and type there is uh, something called uh, ps tricks for you ps tricks is there ps tricks teaches lot of uh, figure drawing so that one can use can i go yeah. to next question sir sure definitely how to draw graphs using latex yeah, again same same thing you got picture mode you have to use picture mode because it's going to be a basic uh, lecture i have not prepared all those things for you if i search now it will take time but uh, that that can be done using picture command again qtix z can be used next question sir can we make pptts using latex uh, yeah that's what now whatever i presented is ppt and it is called beamer okay so maybe i'll just uh, screen share in fact whatever i opened before Okay, let me close all the. Ah, okay, okay. Anyway, I can take care of me. Ah, okay. Now, uh, initially, I started with this. No, so let me let me close all this. In fact, I will not screen share this. Just wait a minute. <laughs> In fact, I have a lot of. I'll just show you. Ah, ah, one minute. Home. I I have put it in this stuff just for. Sorry, one minute. Is it interrupted? Yeah. See, ah, now I will screen share. screen share now i have something like yeah, yes so can all of you see i have created something uh, this is the one which i typed and showed to you all of you should see this i have made there is something called beamer style okay this is for ppt so you can i can make it full screen presentation mode now whatever i presented i have made slides okay uh, through latex only this is compiled See, this is what I have shown to you. See, all these things can be included. Of course, uh, these things are for second, second class on how to type and all. Maybe I should have said how to include figure. Okay, right. See, in fact, uh, this is the first thing. Now I'll stop sharing and I'll show it to you. And again, I'll share something like uh, um, what is that? Intro tech. I'll share the tech how it looks to you. Yeah, display. In fact, I should share this to you. Share. What is that? All right. there all of you could see you can see this is my editor so i am showing you the entire editor now you can see i am enlarging okay see now same document class but uh, the article is beamer style same use package okay lot of uh, blah 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 all these things are preamble author all those things now comes begin document okay each frame title you have a lot of uh, models available for this 
you can say, google it and find lot of things i can also send one of this things. using this you can make so that's not a big problem at all yeah Yes, sir. These are our questions from participation, participants. Yeah. Sir. So for, uh, uh, see, in one and a half hour session, uh, drawing pictures cannot be included. Okay. That's a tough thing. Actually, uh, one has to do hands on. But anyway, this is something like a, uh, uh, what to say, eye opener uh, for those people who want to uh, type LaTeX. But uh, it's very, 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 whatever I have given is very minimal, very basic, very, what to say, uh, very thin line. I have drawn a thin line. See, I'll tell you one of uh, my experience. See, one of uh, MS, one of, when I was do, when I was a scholar, one of the MSc student wanted to do, wanted to type, uh, he was typing his project, which is on differential equations in Word. Suddenly he came to me, he typed five pages, he came to me and said, uh, uh, Sir, uh, can I do this in LaTeX? I am bored. Uh, uh, powers are not coming properly. It is flying. All the uh, exponentials are flying. That's what he said. I said, you should use only LaTeX. For him, I gave. Then he started. Fifth day, he started. I gave him <coughs> whatever manual, AMSL doc to him. Then I gave the uh, file. He has to, uh, that uh, whatever, preamble, all those things are fixed. I told Max, you type using dollar. You keep this AMSL doc. Uh, for equations, you see this. This is the only very minimal guidelines I give. You know, by surprise, he came next day afternoon. He said he has completed all the 45 pages. He has compilation mistakes. Help me. Uh, uh, another thing. Now, see, it's coming. So that that's the experience where compilation errors are a little tough to correct. Initially, you, then by experience, you will know. So I taught him, see, for this, this error is coming, you have usually parenthesis matching you would have not done. Okay, some places I begin document, end document you would have missed, hyphenations you have missed. Okay, these editors are going to help you. They will show you in different color. If you use technique center, you will see how to use parenthesis, whether you have finished the parenthesis bracket or not. We finished within some 45 minutes, the uh, entire thing is compiled, all the 45 pages are ready, he is very happy. So that's why I said learning minimal is a boon a lot of times. See if you a boon because his target is to finish his project. So that he did. Later he can learn all this why AMS math, AMS thing is coming, which is which, which we should do at all. Yeah, that's how you have to do. Uh, figure drawing actually, uh, that's another. See, it's a six week course. Uh, six, uh, sorry, six lecture course on LaTeX is uh, required. Six one and a half hour lectures will cover a course. Okay. But we have made a shred everything into one just one, one and a half lectures. So I can't uh, give much on figure drive. Okay. Uh, apart from that, uh, it should enlighten all of you. That's what I feel. Uh, yeah. Sir, one more question, sir. Can we uh, calculate sir. mean and variance in item in five? No, no, no. You can't calculate. You can't calculate at all. No calculation can be done inside LaTeX. LaTeX is only typesetting. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. You can't do any calculations inside LaTeX. Whatever calculations you are having, you can put it back. If you have undergone Sage Math uh, course, you should have learned that you do all the calculations in Sage Math, convert those things in LaTeX and put it here. Draw picture in Sage Math, convert and put it here. Draw things in MATLAB also, you can do. We convert it as EPS, put it here. Okay. So you have to do somewhere else. Sticky Z you used to give pictures, graph pictures at all. You can draw graph uh, graphs, graph pictures, or uh, uh, GeoGebra will give you a lot of uh, plotting pictures. There are a lot of plot tools available. There you will make, you will put it here. This is purely edit uh, typesetting. It's like a printing press. Printing press won't allow you to calculate or uh, do something. You have to fix everything. They will they will be worried about where I should place it. Uh, how is the presentation? That's all. Okay. Okay. Over to Shweta, man.
thank you sir it's an enlightening session for all of us sir yeah thanks once again sir for accepting the invite as a resource person in spite of your busy schedule yeah yeah thank you thank you sir thank you thank all the participants for patiently hearing this session thank you one and all ah uh, you can uh, send me also the recorded uh, you can give me a link for the recorded uh, thing okay okay, okay sir. sir okay sir we will share you know, i'll prepare a list uh, very very small very nice list of uh, links containing all the uh, important uh, tech resources uh, and also a uh, lot of people asked about drawing graph i'll send links also and whatever file i have typed i i'll send that also to you okay sir okay sir. one or one or two days i'll send that to you okay sir thank you sir thank you shweta ma'am shweta ma'am ah wait Can I end the session? Yes, yes. You can end the session. Okay.